Yo, Auto Intel Crew. Picture this, a colossal machine spitting out a car every five seconds, mind blown, right? We're diving headfirst into the epic saga of Tesla's Giga Press, the absolute game changer that's flipping car manufacturing upside down. Today, we're unpacking the beastly 50,000 ton Giga Press, cranking out 12 cars a minute. How's it pulling off this magic? Is this the blueprint for tomorrow's cars? Let's roll and find out. Elon Musk doesn't mess around when it comes to dropping big bucks on next-level tech for Tesla's factories, but he's got one golden rule, it better deliver. And the Giga Press? It's the MVP, a monster that's turbocharged Tesla's rise to the top. From the 6,000-ton and 9,000-ton beasts to the jaw-dropping 50,000-ton Titan, this tech is rewriting the production playbook. We'll dig into how it all sparked, how it hums, and why this mega machine is poised to shake up Tesla's cyber cab and Model 2. Strap in, this ride's gonna be electric. The Giga Press saga started with a wild, what if, moment. Imagine Elon Musk, kicking back at his desk, twirling a die cast toy car and thinking, why not build real cars like this? That brainwave sparked a daring plan cast massive car parts like the Model Y's whole underbody, in one shot. It'd slash weight, cut costs, and blitz assembly time. Tesla was in a crunch to pump out more Model Ys while keeping prices in check, and the Giga Press was the secret sauce, promising to chop frame building costs by 20 to 40 percent. But here's the kicker, no car maker had ever pulled this off. Back then, frames were cobbled together with steel stamping and robot welding, a clunky process needing hundreds of parts. Musk hit up six big die-casting companies with his bold pitch. Five laughed it off, saying it was nuts. Just when it looked like a bust, an Italian outfit called Hydra threw in a hesitant, maybe. For Musk, that was like striking gold. Tesla and Hydra huddled up for over a year, tweaking designs and pushing boundaries. Hydra's engineers were grinding, constantly retooling to match Tesla's wild demands. But it clicked. The 6,000-ton Giga Press started churning out Model Y rear chassis, followed by the 9,000-ton version for the Cybertruck. Now, Musk's gunning for the 50,000-ton Giga Press to craft Cybercab and Model 2 frames, casting multiple parts in just 5 seconds. A car popping off the line that fast. It's straight up sci-fi. So, what makes the 50,000-ton Giga Press such a juggernaut? First, let's bust a myth, those 50,000 tons aren't its weight, that's the crazy pressure it pumps out. Still, this thing's a heavyweight, possibly clocking over 3,000 tons, 6.6 .6 million pounds. The 6,000-ton Giga Press is 430 tons, and the 9,000-ton hits 688 tons the 50,000 ton. It's in a league of its own, maybe 8.16 million pounds. It's 131 feet long, 42 feet wide, and 39 feet tall, think a four-story building tipped sideways. Tesla had to whip up a custom facility with a mega-deep concrete base to hold this beast. Setting it up could take months before it even starts flexing. How does this Titan do its thing? It's all about laser-sharp precision under insane pressure. Molten aluminum gets blasted into a mold, nailing every tiny detail. Too fast, and air bubbles wreck it. Too slow, and the metal hardens before the mold's full. A high-speed piston slams the metal in, and a slick cooling system locks it into a rock-solid part. Then, a robot yanks it out, trims scraps, and zips it to quality control. The Giga Press skips welding tons of small bits, saving time, labor, and weight while making cars tougher. It kicks off with melting aluminum ingots and recycled scraps in a furnace at 850 degrees Celsius. Impurities get scraped off, and the molten metal cruises through heated pipes to a second furnace, held at 750 degrees Celsius to 850 degrees Celsius. Nitrogen gas keeps oxidation at bay, and argon gas plus filters zap tiny particles. 
The mold gets a quick spritz of soybean oil, like greasing a cake pan, to ease part removal. A vacuum clears the air, and the aluminum gets injected at warp speed. Once set, the part cools to 400 degrees Celsius, hits a cooling bath to drop to 50 degrees Celsius, and the mold resets in 1 to 2 minutes. Every piece gets x-rayed for perfection. The 50,000 ton Giga Press amps this up, casting 5 car bodies at once, hitting that wild 12 cars minute rhythm. Yo, if you're geeking out over Tesla's next gen tech, smash that subscribe button. We're charging toward 1,000 subscribers, and your click gets us closer. Stick with Auto Intel for the hottest scoops on EVs and auto innovation. Now, let's get why this is a big deal. The 50,000 ton Giga Press isn't just a bigger toy, it's a revolution. It casts multiple frames in 5 seconds, down from 70 seconds on older models. That speed, plus crafting complex parts in one go, slashes time and costs. Tesla's cut assembly line robots from 1,000 to 300. Musk calls it less like old school car making and more like pumping out gadgets, fast, lean, and space smart. The Cybercab and Model 2 will ride this wave, with production so blazing humans can't get close. Musk likens it to crafting toy cars, just supersized. The mold for five Cybercab frames is massive, and nailing perfect metal flow is a beast. Tesla's nailed it with a lightning-fast cooling system, a clever mold release trick, and AI-driven quality scans, stuff no rivals touched at this scale. The competition's waking up. GM, Hyundai, Volvo, Zeker, and Xpeng are diving into gigacasting, with Xpeng flaunting a 16,000-ton rig. But Tesla's lapping them with the 50,000-ton monster. The auto world mocked Musk's vision, saying aluminum molds were out too quick versus steel stamping. Tesla shut them up, and now Ford, Toyota, GM, and Volkswagen are buying Giga Presses. Cranking out 720 cars an hour is a total flex, especially for the Model 2, which Musk says will crush Model Y and Model 3's combined volume. Quick detour to the self-driving scene. Waymo's hit a snag, pausing robot access in parts of LA and San Francisco after protests over Trump's immigration crackdown got ugly. Some cabs got smashed, one even torched, spewing toxic battery smoke. Those robot access run $150,000 to $200,000 each, so it's a pricey hit. Meanwhile, Tesla's Robotaxi is revving up. A fresh X clip showed it gliding driverless in Austin, Texas, with a big event set for today, June 12, 2025. Tesla's chasing bulletproof reliability, and we're hyped for more folks to test it soon. Sales-wise, the Tesla Model Y's ruling China's SUV scene for May, with 24,770 units registered, nudging past BYD's Song Plus and Jili's Jingu L. From January to May, Tesla shifted 126,643 Model Ys, topping BYD's Song Plus and Song Pro. Despite a 71% Q1 profit plunge and a 7.8% year-over-year sales dip, the Model Y is holding court as a premium ride. Tesla's eyeing a Q3 and Q4 comeback with the refreshed Model Y. Why is this worth your time? The 50,000-ton Giga Press isn't just about speed, it's reinventing the game. The Cyber Cab's not just a steering wheel free ride, it's a whole new way to build. Tesla's swapping assembly lines for networks, workers for bots, and welds for snap together modules. It's like stacking Legos, as Musk says. This tech's putting Tesla light years ahead, with rivals scrambling to keep up. The Giga Press is how Tesla's pumping out affordable, high volume rides like the Model 2 without skimping on quality. Big thanks for vibing with us, Auto Intel Squad. If you're stoked about Tesla's boundary pushing moves, hit that like button and share this vid. We're getting for 1000 subscribers, so please smash subscribe and flip on notifications to catch our latest EV and auto tech drops. Your support's everything, and we're pumped to bring you more fire content. 
Catch you in the next one.